What you guys got another video here for you what happens when a cmos battery starts dying that's what we're going to be talking about in this video what is a cmos battery well a cmos battery is a complementary metal oxide semiconductor which works as a rtc which is your real-time clock on your motherboard the cmos acts as a battery powered semiconductor chip inside your computer that stores all the important information for your PC. This information can include system time, date, and system hardware settings for your computer to start up and load correctly. So it's important that this has plenty of power in it. And if you're using a dead battery or dying battery, you can end up with issues like you see on the screen right now. This one has invalid configuration information. Please run the setup program strike the F1 key and continue F2 and run the setup utility. Press F5 to run the onboard diagnostics. Now, the CMOS battery can last from two years to 10 years, depending on what type of battery it is. If it's a really good quality one, you should get quite a long time out of them. If it's a cheap one, it may not last as long. So you can see here's another type of error here, invalid configuration information. Please run the setup program and you can see this one is referring to time of day, not set. So it's not old in a time and date on here. You may see other things like uh, operating or storing the system in an environment where the ambient temperature is too high and obstructing airflow. You'll get a bit of this going on there, which can confuse you a little bit. But really, when it starts not holding the time and date, that is another common issue. So you may hear constant beeping sounds as well. If you have a little speaker in your uh, computer, it will start constantly beeping. And you may have other issues as well, like uh, CMOS checksum errors, CMOS uh, read errors, and CMOS battery failure uh, coming up on the screen as well. Uh, you may get boot error codes or unable uh, to detect disk drive. And this all comes from this little tiny silver disk here, which is your your CMOS battery to remove it you can just get a little spudger or a little uh, screwdriver here to pop it out or you can use your fingernail if you've got longer nails and pop this out what you need to do is test this to make sure that there's three volts on this little battery if there's not a lot of voltage left on the battery what's going to happen is you're going to start to have issues like we was talking about earlier also, it can't hold any information, and this is the problem. So we need to uh, replace this with a known good battery. And you can purchase these online. I will leave some links in the video description here. And you can see this one is showing up with over 3 volts, and that's what you should be seeing. If you're seeing like one, 1 1.5 volts, 2 volts, it is time to replace the battery. And uh, they don't really sort of have... Uh, any sort of light or anything like that you will get those issues like i said like constant beeping if it's dying or dead and you may have issues booting and things like that you may start noticing the time and date not is, is not being held and all sorts of information like this can be useful for detecting uh, issues with your uh, battery now you can pick up uh, some cmos batteries here always buy some of the better ones these are duracell 2032s as you can see here and there's four of them in a pack, and they're about five, six pounds uh, on Amazon. Now, having a failing CMOS battery uh, can cause major problems with your computer. And again, sometimes people overlook the CMOS battery and start thinking it's the motherboard and other problems with their computer because it can sort of lead you down the wrong path a little bit. So always check your CMOS battery. It's one of the first things you should be checking because if it can't hold the information, you're going to end up with lots of issues like booting error codes, unable to detect your hard disk drives or SSD drives. You may get uh, CMOS checksum errors and read errors and also beeping and things like that. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just a quick video for today. Just want to say a big thank you to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group, including the new guys that have just joined. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.